Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to take the lines essay on Cyclone. The lines essay on Cyclone. Before I start, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions or recommendations, you can write them in the comments below. So, let's start. Way number one is a cyclone. Is a large scale is a large scale weather system characterized by Characterized by low pressure, low pressure, at its center and rotating winds, at its center and rotating. Rotating winds. A cyclone is a large scale weather system characterized by low pressure at its center and rotating winds. Point number two. Cyclones. Cyclones are, are also known as are also known as hurricanes. Or typhoons. Or typhoons. Depending on the region. Sorry. Depending. on the region in which they occur cyclones are also known as hurricanes or, typhoon or typhoons depending on the region in which they occur point number three these powerful storms these powerful storms can cause widespread destruction widespread destruction Throw high winds, throw high winds, heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall, storm surges, storm surges, and flooding. These powerful storms can cause widespread destruction, throw high winds, heavy, heavy rainfall, storm surges, and flooding. Point number four. The intensity. The intensity of a cyclone is measured is measured by is measured using using the sapphire Simpson scale 
the, the sphere, sphere Samson scale. which categorizes stars which categorizes stars from category 1 category 1 Weakest to category to category five strongest The intensity of a cyclone is measured using the Sapphire Sampson scale which categorizes storms from category 1 weakest to category 5 strongest. For your number 5, cyclones. Cyclones are from over warm ocean waters. Where they draw energy, where they draw, they draw energy from energy from the heat and moisture in the atmosphere. And moisture in the atmosphere. Cyclones are from over warm ocean waters where they draw energy from the heat and moisture in the atmosphere. Point number six The rotation of the Earth. The rotation of the Earth Rotation of the Earth causes Cyclones To spin counterclockwise To spin Counter Counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere. In the northern hemisphere. And the clockwise and the clockwise in the southern in the southern hemisphere the rotation of the earth causes cyclones to spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere Point number seven. Cyclones can last can last for several days. For several days. And travel long distances and travel long distances and 
Affect him multiple. Affect him. Multiple countries and regions. Multiple countries and regions. Cyclones can last for several days and travel long distances, affecting multiple countries and regions. Okay, number eight. The eye of a cyclone. The eye of a cyclone is a calm, clear, calm, clear area. At its center, Surrounded by Surrounded by The eye wall The eye wall Where's the strongest winds? Where's the strongest winds? And heaviest rainfall occur. And heaviest rainfall occur. The eye of a cyclone is a calm, clear area at its center, surrounded by the eye wall, where the strongest winds and heaviest rainfall occur. Point number nine. Forecasting. Forecasting and tracking cyclones. And the tracking. Cyclones is essential. Is essential for early warning. For early warning and evacuation efforts. Evacuation efforts. To minimize the impact, to minimize, to minimize the impact, of communities, forecasting and tracking cyclones is essential for early warning and evacuation efforts to minimize the impact of communities. Point number 10. Climate change. Climate change is expected to increase. Is expected to increase. The frequency, frequency, the frequency and intensity, and the intensity of cyclones in the future. Making them a growing threat, 
growing threat to coastal areas worldwide coastal areas worldwide Climate change is expected to increase the frequency and intensity of cyclones in the future, making them a growing threat to coastal areas worldwide. So this was today's same cyclones. See you next time. Goodbye.